<laughs> a billion dollars, you asking me? Yeah, a billion dollars. I mean, you met some billionaires, right? Mark Diva. Uh, to make a billion dollars, yeah. you have to have a mass market product. For the most part, you got to be pretty mass market. You need something yeah. like Snapchat, a Microsoft. So you can do it. Your yeah. first business, though, it's better to be niche. Yeah. Because with your first business, uh, it's a lot harder to be, you know, it's a lot harder to build a mass market business. There's more competition. But with, uh, with a niche, yeah. you can pretty much, um, you know, you can pretty much guarantee a little bit of success. Yeah. If you go after, try to compete with Microsoft, for example. Huh? They have huge budgets. I see. So I would recommend not trying to make a billion dollars with your first business. Yeah, but but if it's my business number six already. So uh, you, okay. So then you have to go. You have to go mass market. Uh -huh. Do Do you think in online education? Do you think there's possibility for like a multi-billion dollar company in online education? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's easy. I mean that that one. How would you do it? Like a platform, uh, service? There already is. I mean, some of these are already like Linda. And they're approaching those kind of numbers. Yeah. What business do you think would be best for like a billion dollar company that ha that would have to do something with education yeah. that, that would end up being a billion dollar company? Like I said, Something mainstream, even a university type setting. Uh -huh. There's a company in Sweden called. Uh, what's the name? Of it? It's called EF, I think. Education First. Yeah. They just teach languages. Huh? They're a $900 million business. Oh. So, um, do they just. How do they teach that? Do they have like an app, like like a program or teachers teach for them? what? Uh, for languages. You know that one's more of a like class. They they do some online, huh? but they do much more placing you in homes and stuff like that. Uh huh. Good. Yeah. Two more shots. I'll be good. What do you think about um? So you were talking earlier about running an experiment, launching 365 businesses. Yeah. Uh, oh. How do you know, like, at the same time you want to focus, but at the same time, it seems like there are many things in business. Mm -hmm. So how do you know, like, then you're trying to juggle too many things? Better to focus. Try so many things. I'm not sure you have a big. I'm not sure you have a lot of capital, man. Yeah. So if I'm in online education right now, you think I should just keep going there, or do you think I should try something else? Um, I'm a big believer in lots of quick experiments. Huh? So the more experiments you can possibly have, the better. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know. All right, you ready? Nope. This one goes in. You're ready. What? I'm waiting on a Matt. Is he? We good, Matt? Uh, one more. Uh, oh, yeah. the teams and compensation. I got 24 employees right now, and how do I structure? Let, let's say if I pay them just a salary, like I got two assistants, but just pay them a salary. That's it. All right, but you have to align them the same way you get paid. So, however you get paid, pay them the same way. Uh -huh. If they are very used to getting a salary and, and they are getting paid well, yeah. it would probably not go very well if one day I'm like, so uh, now you will get only paid for results. Well, you can do a combination. Salary plus bonus. Maybe 